I just want to give a little uh, preface before I tell my jokes, okay? These are jokes, okay? Don't anybody take this serious, okay? I do not want people coming after me after the show saying, who's the funny one now, huh? Huh? Oh, that was real fucking funny what you said, huh? I take offense to that, no, okay? I do not want to be stressing, okay? I'm a senior. This is supposed to be the happiest time of my life. But I am stressing, do you know why? The job market. Okay. I'm a senior and I have to find a job which is very stressful mainly because of the interview process okay I'm not gonna lie I hate this because they always ask stupid questions what do you think you can uh, bring to the team do they want oh, I'm a hard worker I promote synergy team player I almost won the national Mario Kart championship okay <laughs> I get really good at beer pong and heat up. I'm on fire, I'm on fire, okay? Give me the rock, give me the rock. <laughs> or or here, here's the best one. What do you hope to get from this experience? A paycheck, I, I think that's what everybody wants. <laughs> you know, nobody's gonna be working some fucking mindless job, just, I really love Chicken McNuggets. I will do this for free, all the time. Chicken McNuggets, I'm in heaven. <laughs> But if there is one job I think I could absolutely do, that is, um, what's it? Oh, creating video games. I love video games. Like I said, Mario Kart. I love video games. I have one for you. Do you guys remember Oregon Trail? Yeah! yeah. Oh, see? I love that video game. Great video game. I have a little twist. You gotta spice it up. New millennium. It's called slave trade, okay? Listen, listen. Okay, so you start in Africa, okay? And uh, it's kind of like Oregon Trail. So you start in Africa, and you buy your slaves, you know, just like in Oregon Trail, you got to name your family, you know, it was great. Oh, wow. Okay, you get to name them authentic names, like Kunta Kente, you know? And, uh, and, and you, get, you get to bring them over the Atlantic Ocean, will be fun. Remember the hunting part in Oregon Trail, like, oh, you're all on field, cool, let me kill a buffalo. It'd be a little bit different. Oh, one of your slaves is sick. You must kill him. And instead, you know, instead, you just have slaves just walking. Um, and you get to whip them with a whip until they die. Okay? That's the best one, okay? I'm glad some people are laughing. It's a joke. It's supposed to be funny. I'm just kidding. You guys are going to hell. It's Black History Month. I actually love Black History Month, one, because it is uh, one of the few holidays that black only people get to celebrate. Uh, we have uh, Black History Month, Kwanzaa, NBA Finals, you know. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, LeBron. But if there's one thing I do hate about the basketball game, it's commentators. They're terrible fucking people, okay? Yeah, because Here's the thing. Okay, you just had the best game of your life. Hey, Kobe, you dropped 81 points. Way to go. The other dick guy, there's always a dick guy. Watch for the dick guy. The dick guy's always like, yeah, only two years ago you were in a Denver courthouse for accused of rape. How do you feel about dropping 81 points now, asshole? Come on. Could you imagine if that shit actually happened in real life? Like, like, like say you just did a presentation, okay? I'm gonna call you John. I don't know. What's your name? Michael? Close enough. Michael. <laughs> Michael, okay? Michael, hey, you did a great presentation, okay? I love the, the, the slideshow, the Excel file was awesome, you know, you even had the nice little clip art, the dancing monkey, great. Then, then a dick would be in the back, the dick would just be in the back. Yeah, only two years ago you got caught jacking up to a Victoria's Secret catalog in a men's bathroom, look at go, how do you feel now? But you know what? I do like some people with microphones. And I know you guys are wondering who uh, Brian, uh, what's that old guy, Brokaw or something? Brian Williams? No, Katie Kirk? No. It's one man who is saving the United States one day at a time. Maury Povich. <laughs> For those of you who do not know Maury Povich, he's a great man. He has a daytime talk show. He used to like do episodes like, oh, I'm afraid of things. Like, oh, I'm afraid of pickles, okay? Don't put pickles around. <laughs> True shit. Google this shit, okay? I'm not lying. Google it. Oh, I'm afraid of pickles. And like, oh, every time I see a pickle, I'm like, ah, pickle. 
<laughs> but now he's moved on to a little bit more classier material. It's DNA tests, okay? Yeah, very classy. So this one girl, she's my favorite. I think she uh, is on the Hall of Fame for more COVID. She was on the show and she brought 16 different babies' fathers trying to be the father of her son. Okay, the son's like, it started like, he was like six months, now he's like fucking four. He's like, I don't know who my daddy is, you know? I just come on the show because you get free food, more I love this show. So, 16 different guys she brought on, okay? One was like an old white man, and she's like black, and she's like 23, like one 64-year-old black old white man. I'm like, damn, this is like the NCAA March Madness in your vagina, okay? You're like running a, a, a sweet 16 in there, okay? Like, how many people does it like, to, like, come on. That's kind of disgusting. Really. But, thank you guys so much, you've been great. But before I uh, leave you guys, I just want to tell you a story. It's the first time that I went to Hemp Fest. Okay, does anybody know what Hemp Fest is? Woo! Okay, stoners. Uh, <laughs> Hemp Fest. Hemp Fest is like this big uh, national marijuana convention in Seattle. It happens. You get like free brownies and shit and like pass out marijuana and there's a music playing. So, I decide one day, I don't smoke weed by the way. I don't smoke weed. But my mom's like, hey, let's go as a family outing to this Hemp Fest. I said, you know what mother, I love you so much. Yes, I will go with you. <laughs> So, like I said, I don't smoke. She smokes like there is no cancer. She just, oh, shit. But I don't smoke. So she said, you know what, Drew? You can have some brownies, okay? Some brownies, that would cheer you up. I'm like, okay, I'm a big guy. I like to eat. Uh, how many brownies do you usually take? One brownie would be enough. Give me four, okay? I'll do four fucking brownies. And I'm actually in Seattle. True story. I'm in Seattle, and I'm like, this shit is weak. This shit is, I'm not feeling anything. It like takes two hours. I'm walking up to Hip Fest and I just noticed like I feel like my lip is about to curl up and I'm just like a joker. I'm like <laughs> my lip feels funny. And my mom just looking at me like I'm special ed like Are you okay? <laughs> my lip is ripping. I'm okay. I'm okay. So we get in there, we have to uh, walk up this big hill, which is counterproductive, because once you're high, you really don't want to do anything athletic. So we walk up this big ass hill, we get there, and I'm just stowing out of my mind by this point, I'm just sitting in the corner, and I look over, and I think I see my friend, a friend from a long time ago, like I haven't seen him since high school. So I'm looking, I was like, no, that can't be him. Look, and I squint, oh no, it's not him. Look, and I squint, not him. Look, it's actually fucking him. Really, really, I was like, I'm like feeling his face like, how long have you been here? I just got here, man. Fuck, I'm high right now. Okay, okay, okay. So then she's like, okay, son, I know you're high right now. Let me calm you down. We're gonna give you something to eat. I have a, a dingleberry, it's like a ch ch chocolate covered strawberry. I put it in my mouth. I had go on a 10 minute tangent about how this chocolatey goodness has mixed with the strawberry flavor and there's like an explosion on my palate and everyone's invited, but you know what? If they had more strawberry, it may be in a little bit better, but the chocolate is just enough. And my mom's like, fuck, just sit down. Go somewhere, just go somewhere. You're fucking up my high, okay? I was like, okay. So finally we sit down on the beach, it's real nice. Okay, there's white people in front of me, and there's black people behind me. Let me preface this again. White people in front of me, black people behind me. So, I'm sitting with my mom and her black friends, and they're smoking a blunt. All the white people smoking out of pipes, okay? And I'm like, we shouldn't be here right now. We really shouldn't be here. In front of me, I'm hearing, you know, I think Barack Obama's like, you know, Medicare plan is really good, but is, is he a Marxist or is he really trying to promote the health of everybody? Behind me out here, you know what, nigga, I just got that new Cadillac, it's sitting so high, it's sitting on them 28 ribs, you know what I'm saying? I'm so high, I see fucking birds fly by. Come on, come on. In front of me, 
You know, I just think sometimes the world peace is just so hard to attain because we're fighting for a dream behind me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting so fucking hot seeing Martians, you dig? I'm seeing fucking Marvin the Martian. I'm like, what's up to Bugs Bunny right now sitting high on these rims? You know, I just really think that if we really want to change the world, we have to do it one day at a time. Well, fuck, I'm so high right now. I'm sitting in these rims, okay? I'm so high. Damn dog, I'm just high. I know where you're going. I'm at right now. Thank you guys so much. You guys been great.